I am Ejecto One, and welcome on back to another episode in Santa My Survival World. And in the last episode, and actually in the last couple episodes, I should say, I worked on this, and this is my Japanese shrine that is a restaurant on the inside. And I did say in the last episode that I was gonna work on the the rest of it, uh, uh in that in this episode. Well, it it would be this episode. But I decided just to work on this whole thing off camera, and I I built this while I was uh, talking with some uh, auto crafters. Uh, there is a SMP called AutoCraft SMP, and I was uh, in their Discord hanging out and talking with them while I worked on this. So yeah, it was a really cool thing, and it was really nice to chat with them while I worked on this. And yeah, and I definitely recommend you guys go check them out. They're a pretty chill group of people. But anyways. So yeah, I did this because I don't want to. I don't want to waste three more episodes. Uh, I don't want to waste like three episodes working on this because this already went on for like two episodes, and it's still not finished. There's a couple things that need to be done, but I'll just finish this off camera. But I am pretty happy with it. I did put these tables in. I think I seen an image on Pinterest about these, and I thought this looked really cool. And I think the tables are my own accord, kind of, sort of. But it's a nice place to you know come in. Don't put your feet on the table, please. But it's a nice place to come and hang out and eat something. And yeah. And I did have this little bar. I think, well, this uh, little thing where you put, where the person that's cooking here puts food and people come and get it. And then this is like a little employee entrance. And then I really do like this hanging light concept where it's just these blocks and then you have these slabs that go across and just kind of makes like a hanging lights kind of pattern. And I did use the lanterns to have that. And I just think it looks really cool. But that is actually not the focus of today's episode. The focus of today's episode instead is actually going to be... Uh, oh, whoops. Wrong button. We are actually going to be going into the nether because I want to build something that's going to go right around here. Now, I don't know if I'll have time to do it today. But we're going to see. I hope so. Now, I did grab a bunch of stuff that I think I'll need for the nether. Including a bunch of armor, including my golden helmet because of piglins. But I grabbed that and I grabbed a bunch of arrows and bows and stuff and all sorts of things as you can see. And I did grab my I did grab a fresh shield. I'm not taking a lot of iron to me because I don't need that. But I did grab a bunch of cobblestone because well I am gonna need a lot of this cobblestone because I'm actually we've already explored the nether and I found and we do have a warp nylon forest. And I want to try and build some type of pathway from this straight to there. So that's probably going to be the main focus of today's episode. But anyways, we're going to head off into here. Now, I'm not sure if there's a mob on the other side. Because sometimes they keep leading mobs into here. Just as a way to, you know, a future eject problem. But let's go on into the nether and we'll see. Oh. Uh, first thing we see when we come in here is there's a little child. Um, did you want to leave? You know you can leave, right? You can, you, you can go. There you go. Freedom. Okay. So first thing we're going to have is probably a bunch of these guys. Now I want to find a way over. I'm going to leave that open for now. That might be useful. Um, oh no. Oh no. Alright, I got some cubes. I don't want to play right now, guys. Go away. No. 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 Die. Oh, you're big. You're huge. Ow. That hurt. I don't want to hug. No. Die. Oh, you guys are dying easy. Oh. Ow. Wait. No, I didn't hurt. Nope. Oh, there's a lot of these guys. Okay, let me take these guys over quick. I'm not interested. Ow. Ow. Ow.
This is probably not the best biome to spawn in. Okay. So now I have a nice little bridge. And I know it's not the most detailed. It's not the most... It's not the nicest looking thing. But this will let me uh, get across. And I can always... I could come back and detail it later. But I don't know. We'll see. Now what we'll do is... I think we'll just build straight on across. And then we're going to go down. That to me makes the most sense. Um... There's apparently another gas in the area. It might be on the other side of this little wall here. So we do have to watch it. Not sure how well this will work out. Now, the only thing I have against this tunnel, the only thing I fear about this is these guys getting in here and deciding to just hang out in this area. I don't really want to have that, so hopefully it doesn't happen here. Because they will get into this tunnel and they will clog it up. I have seen that happen before. That actually happened in my last survival world. Alright, now we have that, and we'll go ahead and fill that in. Now, what we get to do is the fun bit, which is to make a staircase that goes down here somehow. I have no idea how that's going to work. I think we're just going to do a 2011 Minecraft style thing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hide this here just for safekeeping. Actually, no, we won't put this here. It's just a crafting table. It's not a chest. I promise. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to try and make a staircase that goes all the way down. Enderman, I'm not trying to look at you. I promise. I'm just trying to place my crafting table. Now I'm going to take my cobblestone and I'm just going to make some stairs. We're going to try to make a way down. Enderman. All right, so we're going to go down this way. And I'm going to try to follow the natural path of this. But not too much. I think you can do right here. I'm not too worried about the waste. Enderman, please find another place to go. Okay. Let's make a staircase straight down. You guys are really in the way. Try not to look at him. Try not to look at him. They're not making it easy. You guys really have to be right there. Not making it easy. There. You guys can use stairs too. I don't care. It's going down slowly but surely. Okay, and last one. Oh, last couple, actually. I thought I heard that sound. There's Zoglin. There might be a Zoglin in this area. That's not good. But we can go down in here. And this will, for the most part, follow the... Okay, now we have made our way down here. We're 
going to go like this. Not really worry about the look right now. And we'll put that there just because it looks nice, I guess. Okay, now we made our way down here, and that's actually really good. Whew. All right, now we have this entire staircase. Let's go take a look. All right, that took a little bit. Didn't take as long as I thought, though. Now we can take this back. So now we're ready for the next step, which is going to be... We're going to gather a bunch of this stuff up. Now, I need a lot of these uh, blocks here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my... I'm going to put this here. Move my stuff. I will need this to go here. Now, I will need to make a iron hoe. And that's because this stuff mines well with this stuff, apparently. Yep, yes it does. That is because I need, I do need the wood, but I need this more because the build I have planned uses a lot of it. So, that's what we're going to do with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the basis. And I did go ahead and do a quick little measurement. And so what we want to do is start off with this. And I am going to need some dirt blocks. Let's go grab that really quick, if I can. I should have some dirt blocks, I think, in this chest. Or something. Yep, we have an entire stack. Now I'm going to put my netherrack back there, because I don't need it. And dirt's just going to be used for scaffolding, as per usual with this channel. So I'm sort of building this layer for layer. So we're going to go right here. And I'm just going to jump up and place that. Jump up and place that. And we're sort of creating... Now these parts here are supposed to be kind of the... Uh, what uh, what are called studs on the Legos. These are the bumps on there that allow you to attach the different pieces together. So that's what these are representing, while this is actually the actual brick. So this is how far I've gotten so far. And it looks pretty nice. Uh, let me back up a little bit. It's a pretty big build. It looks really good, and I do quite like it. Now, I am going to have to make another Trippinson. It is looking pretty much like a Lego brick. Uh, I think it looks really good. Of course, these aren't now. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Now, of course, these aren't filled in like Lego, Lego bricks because I want those to be the windows because this will actually be a building. But before we can continue on that, I need to go into another and grab some more. I need to get some more of this uh, warp stuff because I don't have any more. Also, I need some more wood. Now, after a few trips to the nether back and forth. Oh, I forgot a spot. We'll get that in a moment. But after a few trips to the nether, uh, back and forth, because I kept running out of this stuff, the warped warp block. That definitely isn't a tongue twister. Let me get all this. Give me my dirt blocks. So, after a few back and forth trips to the nether, to get more of this warp warp block, I ha I uh, finally got it done. There is a little bit of a hole on the other side, but I'm just going to pretend it's not there. Uh, let me go to sleep really quick. Did have to move my bed. But yeah, so now we got that done, now we can move on to the actual fun bit. And it does, and it is, and it does really look like a Lego. At least I think. Someone's probably gonna tell me I'm wrong, but I'm not. Maybe. Okay. Now, one thing we do have to do to the outside is actually we have this. Now we are missing one crucial fa uh, factor of a Lego. Now it's not so important, I guess, since you're not really gonna see this back part. But I want to get the anti studs or the bottom of a Lego piece. So, what we're going to do 
So we're going to place it just like this. Now, we do have to be careful here. And actually, I just realized uh, we're going to need a way to get down again. So I got this water bucket because I'm going to have to climb up. And I just realized that this is actually below this. So I'll have to figure out how to make that work. Make it make sense, I guess. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the outer edge of the Lego. Or the outer frame where the anti-studs are the anti studs are going to go. And then we're going to come down here. Place our water. And then I'm going to build a little bit of way across. And then we'll actually take and have this go here. Ride this all the way down. Then we're just going to climb our way up. There we go. Okay, now that we have that, now the next thing I need to do is a little something up here. You probably already know what that is. But what I want to do is I want to So what I want to do Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now that we have the So now that we have this in which is our frame and since I'm up here because I forgot about it uh, We need to make this uh, mob proof so mobs don't spawn on this roof Because that would be terrible and I actually didn't think of this in my original design. But that's because I built in my testing world and I don't have to deal mobs in my testing world. Unless I want to. Okay, so I did just have a look. And it'll work with the way I'm doing it. It's just going to be a little bit different from the anti-studs. So, all it is is just one, two, three. And staircase. And then staircase. And then we're going to drop down here. So these should be fairly simple to put together. Okay, so let me go and get the other two of these in. Let me back up so you can see it. Whoa, whoa. It's kind of hard to see because you got this building here, but you guys should probably get the idea. The dirt is going to be moved out of the way. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Now, let me go and get the other two of these in. Now, what we want to do is take and now that we have that, I want to take and work on the inside and get the interior going. Now, I don't have much of the furniture for it, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I think this might actually be a little bit different than the actual build I had in my testing world because my testing world build was only three blocks wide. So, you're getting a lot of space, a lot more space than what it was. So... But I think it definitely looks a lot better than having a three block wide. Okay, now what we want to do is I need to make some stairs. Or no, we have stairs. It's be a little bit different than what I was doing before. But we're going to have this go. And I'm going to need my dirt. So we're going to take my stairs. We're going to go up. Dirt goes there. Because all the dirt will be converted to stairs. And this is technic this is actually wrong. Now that I have that in, now we can actually go ahead and do what I wanted to do. Which is start with this. Dirt. This is just going to be a repeat of what we did right before. Do this. And we need this to line up with that. Actually, with that. And I believe it's supposed to go there. I think it'll go there. And then this actually needs to be blocks. I would use slabs, typically, but this doesn't call for that. 
Actually, let's... Build across. Right. Now we have that. And actually, that's technically wrong. We'll fix that in a second. Let's just do this. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Now, this staircase, I want to make a little on the interesting side. And actually, this is made slightly wrong. Technically. Yeah, because this needs to go here. And then we need, we actually need a dirt block to go here. So actually it goes here. Then it's correct. Now what we're going to do is have it go right here. So it will go right there. And we will need to use this as scaffolding or as placement blocks. Then that goes there. Then we go up here. And now we can fix this stupid hole. Now we need this. Make that go up. And this needs to go right here. Nope, nope, nope. Really? Really? Okay, now this is going to be at this level. So now I got to figure out how this is going to connect up to this level. Hmm. How will I do this? It's a lot different than the staircase I had before. Because I know this goes here, of course. That's obvious. I think we'll have to do... Or make it connect up to the floor. To go there. Then we can go here. We might get the same result here as before. And I'm trying to make sure this lines up with the windows properly. Stupid stairs. I'm doing that. And as I predicted, it's going to pretty much do what we had it before. So now it's going to go there. So now we're going to have that go up to there. I don't know if that's that's not correct. Okay, it's definitely a little bit it's definitely a lot different than what I originally had planned. So now we have this in. Now the next step is to go ahead and fill in these floors. If I can place them in right. Come on. Now typically I would do slabs, but since these will be visible, I want these to be full blocks. Now what we're going to do is go like this. I probably could use slabs. That might have been more effective.
now. Okay. Let's get on up here. Just gonna build on across. Okay, I think what I'll do instead of this is actually, well, I kind of like this, but no, I think we'll go with this. All right, all right. So what we'll do is now we'll go like this, bring it all the way up to there. All right, now that we have that, and that seems to work for what I want to do. So now we have four floors. Now, the next thing I need to do is actually need to go through and change all this out to some slab, or not slabs, but the stairs. So this one can be a block. Oh, wrong, wrong GUI. Now let's go make some stairs. Then we're going to do is place that, place that, place that. And then we're going to go ahead and place that. This might be a little bit tricky. We'll get rid of that. All right. So it turns out we did need just about that entire stack. All right, now let's go get that other fence. All right, now that that's there, I think it's a pretty good looking thing. It covers up the stairs, though. Uh, it does cover up the stairs, but not enough to where you don't know they're there. I think it's a really elegant looking design thing. Now what we want to do is next we're going to go ahead and design this front door. And the way I wanted to do that, I do have a design plan for it. But we need to get a door. To make a few doors, actually. You know, I only need one for this. Now, what we want to do is kind of a particular design. We want to go like this, place this like that. And then the door should probably go about like that. This needs to go up. And then this needs to go up. And you place that there and that's almost the door. Now I need to do that. Now what I need to do is go to sleep to not spawn mobs. And then we need to do something else to prevent mobs from spawning. You might have guessed what that is. Now, I do have the soul sand, I believe, if I take and make some sticks. And I think I've never made these before. How do I make this? Uh... Oh, I need coal. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's grab some coal really quick. I need to make these torches. See, I should have some in here, I think. Not in there. Maybe in here. Nope, nothing in there. Here? Nope. Where is my coal? There we go. I just need one. Right, so now all I need to do is find a crafting table. And we're going to go ahead and make this into the 
Torch. Oh, he gives us four. Nice. Then we're going to take that, make one ingot. And essentially, we're just going to make one of these. All right. Now, we're going to take this. Now, I want this to be blue because it fits in with the vibe of this. And since it's soul, it made of, like, it senses a soul lantern, which for, fits in with the nether theme stuff. We place it right there. Now, it should help keep mobs from spawning, at least in that one area. And then, one thing I'll do is I'm just going to go to the three floors. Because this floor is kind of well lit now. But the other floors, not so much. So we're going to go ahead and just put a torch up here. Then we're going to put a torch up here. And then one more right up here. Alright, now we have that. Now the next thing I want to do is equally as important as the inner guardrail. We need the outer guardrail. And that's going to be using trapdoors. So we're going to use. So I think we're going to go ahead and use this. I'm not sure how many we'll need for this. A bunch of them I'd imagine. Let's just make an entire stack. There. Now let's see if that will be enough. This we don't need to worry about any of that we just need to worry about it when we get to these levels and then it's just a matter of placing that right there and you can't fall off there so I wouldn't worry about that all right now that we have that now unfortunately now we got this done and it, I really like this this looks really amazing let me get my f1 out yeah, that looks really cool. I'm really excited about that. And, uh, yeah, it's such a really cool build, a really cool design. And even though it is a little bit different from the one from the testing world. But I hope you guys will agree that this is a really cool looking build. And I can't wait to integrate the rest of the city around it and stuff. It is a little bit different from the Dark Oaks, you know, the, the Dark Oak and the Oakwood theme that I'm going from here. But I think that's good for making it stand out. And, you know, and... Now, to explain, now, this area, if you can tell by now, this is supposed to be kind of an area of, like, some of my interests. Because uh, I figured, you know, what? because I was trying to figure out what I want. Quiet, Bessie. I'm talking here. So, I wanted to figure out, when I come out of here every day, what do I want to, you know, what do I want to see first thing? And I thought, well, why not something that, you know, that makes a... Why not make something that represents uh, something that I have a, a very big interest in? So that's why I have a Japanese section here because I am a Matt. I am someone who is a major fan of Japanese culture, all sorts of things, and so I put that there. And then the Lego brick goes here because I because if you didn't know, I'm a major fan of Lego, and if you actually go to my Discord, which I think there should be a, a link below. Let me know if there isn't. I'll fix it right away. But uh, if you check my Discord, you'll know that I do have a Lego thing. I haven't posted it in a while, but I do have some photos of some things I've built. And yeah, so I figured playing a Lego piece is very fitting. I could have went with Crimson or something like that, but Crimson isn't like, I wanted to go something that's more of a primary color since Lego is very famous for using primary colors a lot of times, even though they have other colors. But I thought uh, it was a really cool idea, and this presented a pretty good challenge of getting the warped wood. And also it gave me a way to get out to the warped wood, so now we have access to more blue stuff, so hopefully we'll have some more blue buildings in the future. And uh, yeah, but I do like this idea, and I do like the windows being, or the studs being the windows. I think it adds a unique style. And, uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked this episode. I hope you liked this build. And I hope it inspired you to go build your own Legos in your Minecraft world. And if you and if you did, and if you do, please leave a like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to me. It does about the channel. I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And your support means absolutely a lot to me. It means the world. You have no idea.
But yeah, anyways, that'll have to do it for me today. And until next time, have a wonderful day. I'm Eject1. Oh, let me take out this helmet. I'm Eject1 with the helmet, I guess. But until next time, have a wonderful day. I'm Eject1. And you have been ejected.